Dr. The Honorable Keith Rowley, Prime Minister of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Your Worship, Alderman Joel Martinez, Mayor of Port of Spain, the Honorable Marlene MacDonald, Member of Parliament for Port of Spain South, the Honorable Colm Inwood, Member of Parliament for Digo Martin Northeast, the Honorable Daryl Smith, Member of Parliament for Digo Martin Central, Ms. Simone Torn Mora, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development, Mr. Newman George, Chairman of the HDC and other members of the board, Mr. Brent Lyons, Managing Director of HDC and other members of the management team, specially invited guests who are in fact our new homeowners, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, indeed a very pleasant good morning to you all. It is my honor and privilege this morning to share and to join with the Honorable Prime Minister in distributing homes to well-deserved citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. When I drove here this morning, I couldn't help draw a direct nexus between the name of this location and the view that I'm seeing here today. The view, to me, the view and the fort itself speaks for itself. When I look out, I sure I can challenge some residents after they have entered into their homes that they can certainly see football in the stadium if they have good binoculars. They can see Point Lisas. They can see the sun rise in the east and set in the west. What a wonderful location you are inheriting here this morning, ladies and gentlemen. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Development in its approved strategic plan 2018 to 2023 is really based on contributing to national economic and social development and of course happiness and the well-being of our citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. And we're doing so by building sustainable housing development, by building sustainable communities. Because we believe that this government has, in, in its remit has said they will provide and ensure the happiness and well-being of our citizens. When this development was first conceptualized, it was with a view to bring in much needing housing relief to eligible low and middle income citizens who were desirous of living within close proximity to the city of Port of Spain. As such, I'm indeed happy this morning to accompany the Prime Minister at this distribution. Earlier this year, you have heard the Prime Minister would have distributed units in Block A. We are therefore quite pleased to be able to join him today to distribute in Phase 2. The vision of the government, as in previous PNM government, has always been to provide affordable, well-designed, structured housing for citizens of our country. And we've anchored our commitment based on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, which is really about meeting the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. And so we've anchored Vision 2030 in those development goals. In particular, Ministry of Housing and Urban Development has identified theme one of the Vision 2030 document, which speaks to putting people first. And today, we are indeed putting people first. We are creating the environment to ensure that you have affordable shelters, affordable homes, affordable solutions, so that you, your family, your generation, and future generations would have a place to live, to work, to recreate, and enjoy. This housing community, nestled in the foothills of the beautiful Fort George, is in close proximity to a number of activities, the hub of St. James, close to shopping areas, close to mall, close to churches, close to mosques, close to Mandir. So many activities within walking distance that make this location a very choice location to be. And so the entire development will provide 137 apartment units. Building A of phase one has already been allocated. And today we will be distributing another 48 units in building B of phase two. All of the units are self-contained with three bedroom, one bathroom, living room, dining room, kitchen, and laundry facilities. And so I want to congratulate at this time and thank the contractors, Rainbow Development, the T and Tech workers, members of the HGT staff, for listening and following the Prime Minister's instructions. The Prime Minister said to us that he wants to be able to provide for the citizens of this area a Christmas, and I don't want to use gift because it's not a gift, as you heard your MP mention a while ago, but a good Christmas. You want to provide a very good Christmas for the citizens of this area. 
of this constituency. And so we worked tirelessly to ensure that the primary instructions in fact carried out. And today, we are pleased to see the location. We are pleased to be here this morning to present to you, my good citizens, the Prime Minister's remit. We are working very quickly, but carefully, in these developments because we understand what the housing unit means to single mother with children, recently married young couple about to start their family, those with elderly relatives, or the young professionals planning for the future and wants a place to call home. We understand that. This government understands this. And so we want to ensure that you have quality when we provide you with this kind of accommodation. And we have instituted a certificate of quality management, whereby every step of the way, our contractors are assessed to ensure that they maintain the quality and standard that you, the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, deserve. And so that has been quite well done, well executed. And you'll see testimony to that after this ceremony when you have a chance to look at the very areas that you're about to occupy this morning. There's still some work that's going on throughout the AGC development towards the Ministry of Housing and Development, such as River Run through in Arima, Bonnet North, Bonnet South, Current San Fernando, Trust Tail in the Aberdeen, Mahogany Court in Mount Hope. We are also well poised to allocate homes at Cyprus, Lakeview, Real Spring, Carlson Field, and Gomez in Maruga, in Maruga in the very near future. So there are a lot of development taking place, all bent on creating the kind of housing solution for citizens of Trinidad and Tobago throughout the length and breadth. And as my predecessors have indicated, this government is committed to completing all outstanding housing projects. It is testimony that unwavering commitment that the agency has been able to allocate 2,558 homes to qualified families during the period 2015 to September 2018. And I want to put the naysayers outside there who continue to say that we have not constructed and we are not delivering. Ladies and gentlemen, this government has constructed. Trust Trail is an example for that. And we continue to deliver housing solutions to our citizens in Trinidad and Tobago. As you are about to occupy your premises, as you are about to receive your packages today, let me also echo the sentiment mentioned by your MP. You are providing, you are being provided by the government with the housing solutions. But there's a commitment that's expected from you all. The commitment is that you pay your rent on time. I can tell you, we have a number of delinquent homeowners throughout the ACC developments throughout Trinidad and Tobago right now delinquent homeowners with respect to their rent and mortgages. And we intend to take a very aggressive approach come January 1st, 2019. Because as I mentioned a while ago, what we are providing you, it is not a gift. It is housing solutions. It's a partnership. We provide, but you honor your commitment. When you have your remuneration and you get your revenue, you should do a little tick box, put it on your refrigerator or the magnet. The first tick box you should have, rent, tick it off. Then you could deal with your utilities, you could deal with your groceries, and all other activities. You can't have a brand new motor car and you're owing rent. You can't have cable TV and you're owing rent. Let it be, because understand, what you're having is something not for your own benefit, but for the benefit of your family and your future generations. So please, do not be one of the delinquent customers of the AGC in 2019. The Ministry of Housing and Urban Development continue to construct and to earn its keep. To ease the burden and debt of the Treasury, this government has made overtures to encourage private sector development to help drive the construction sector this time, particularly in public housing. As such, the Ministry of Housing Development, of housing development Corporation formally launched the Housing Construction Incentive Program in addition to the public-private partnership arrangements, which have been receiving positive feedback from the public sector, from the private sector. As part of the HCIP arrangements, tax incentives are offered to approved developers who are willing to use their own resources to construct housing units in keeping agency specified designs, building codes, and pricing. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, five contractors have signed up under the PPP HCIP programs to provide the AGC with an additional 1,000 quality housing accommodation in developments located in the east central and south Trinidad. 
And we want to encourage other private developments to do the same, to partner with the ACC, to partner with the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development, to partner with the government to provide housing units to our most deserving citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, I wish to offer my warmest congratulations to all of you who will be receiving your packages today. I want to urge you, you have a golden opportunity. You have a brand new development here today. You, the residents, can define this development. You can define it how you want it to be. You can therefore put it in a lower class, a middle class, or upper class. It is up to you, the residents, by what you do, what you say. And I want to congratulate the social development of this kit just a while ago. Let's give them another wonderful applause. Because that skit is a reality. It is not just an acting, it's not just a stage performance. It's a reality that has been experienced throughout the length and breadth of our ACC housing locations. You, a view fort, must never fall in that trap. You are the ones who must come together, house by house, community by community. It must be a strong community that determines that this place, when you hear the word view fort, is a place that people will cherish with envy and would want to live. You are the starting in this phase. You set the tone. You set the kind of area that you want it to be. I charge you so to do. So again, as we continue to work and to enrich the lives of our citizens, let me extend once again sincerest thanks and appreciation to the contractors. I know they work overnight to bring this to what you're seeing here this morning. To TN Tech for coming out and pouring up the place. To the ACC staff, to the PS and all the members of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development, and of course, all other participants who allow us to come here this morning, God's willing, to enjoy and to be able to receive what the government has provided to you, good housing solutions. I thank you all for allowing me the opportunity to address you. May God continue to bless us all, and indeed, have a wonderful and merry Christmas. I'm sure you will, based on what you're about to receive today. May God bless us all, and indeed, bless our nation. I thank you.